When I hear the name Marge, I think happiness. I remember her happy face and her enthusiasm. Marge was a very enthusiastic student. Very, she was uh, in a lot of different activities. Well, Marge was a, a student in my class, in one of my English classes. And I think I, I could say that I knew for sure she was strong, she was articulate. She's very funny and very entertaining, very kind. Uh, makes friends and family really almost wherever she goes. Marge was the leader of the pack. So as the oldest child in her family, I'm her youngest brother. Uh, she had a unique ability to rally people around whatever she was doing. Uh, very driven, uh, very driven for excellence. And uh, I think that has shown through uh, all through her life. She always just has this ability to, wherever she is, she just lands on her feet. She instantly makes um, a network of friends, um, connections. Um, she sees what needs to be done. She takes charge. I, I always found it remarkable that Marge came to Benedictine as an 18-year-old sight unseen, had never been here before, but her parents both were graduates and they married a week after her mother graduated, I believe, and so she felt this kinship to the college. And, uh, you know, once here really made it her own. When we were growing up as our parents, uh, my mom, Joanne, and my dad, John, uh, John won the Kansas Monk Award. He was honored to win that Distinguished Award in 2012 uh, with my mother, who won the Offeramus Medal that year and was honored to uh, be awarded that. Um, they imparted on us this sense of you're part of a global community, so they exposed us to a lot of different countries. We traveled uh, quite a bit, and so I think that piece and coupled with the work and the research she was doing as an adult in her graduate and doctoral studies really shaped that. She's all about empowering students and teachers and making a difference educationally all over the world. And in the spirit of St. Francis, in the spirit of what does it mean to be a Benedictine, in the spirit of the college and the values of Benedictine College, I'm thinking, wow, she's done exactly what we want our alums to do. She's taken what she's learned and spread it and made a huge difference in the world. She started Wellspring from the ground up. They started with a one class and each year brought in another class of students. She has a real passion for education, a real passion for math education particularly, and young people uh, you know, benefited a great deal, I think, from her leadership in that school. My favorite teacher is Dr. Marge Henningsen. Her hard work and dedication taught me how to be a good teacher and a competent researcher. She is an inspiration for so many educators in Lebanon. I'm part of her team of rebels who are trying to bring better education to children in our community. In the summer of 2007, I had the privilege to visit uh, Lebanon with my family and watch her open with her team, uh, Wellspring Learning Community. And so I got to see firsthand uh, how she is impacting uh, lives, families, in other parts of the world. Uh, and so that makes me extremely proud uh, of Dr. Marge uh, for being nominated uh, for this Distinguished Award, the Offeramus Medal. I'm thrilled that she's getting this award. I think it's well deserved. Thank you for taking the time to honor her and for allowing me to be part of celebrating the achievements of this great woman.